Hello, people. Welcome to uh, Wrestling with the Devil. I am Lee Cole, and we're going to talk about a few things. First, we're going to talk how much money did Rock make at WrestleMania. It's going to astound you when I tell you how much he's made. It's unbelievable the amount of money he made. And people are saying, oh, well, why doesn't he shoot a movie? He's making so much more money now doing this. Sure, he'll go to Hollywood and do a movie for $30, $40 million. He's Rock. He gets big money. But he makes that kind of money so easy now because he's around filthy money. I mean, you're talking billionaires. Rock is a billionaire. And also, we're going to talk about Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon, she came back and she basically said, goodbye, daddy. You're out of here. Uh, the McMahon showed up. There, there, And there she is in the back, uh, in the back rooms with mom. No Vince. Vince is gone. This family has gotten a cancer out of their life. Vince McMahon. And I, when his and Vince McMahon, believe it or not, is sending out his trainer to say that his loved ones have betrayed him. No, Vince, you betrayed your loved ones a long time ago. They're just finally cutting you off, you know, cutting you out because of all the things you did. And uh, Vince, this was the most successful wrestling expedition ever. By far, nothing touches it. And I'm going to show, I'm going to give you the stats there to make you people understand how successful it was. Okay, but let's, how much, I'm going to read this for, to you first. How much money, uh, how much money did The Rock earn at WrestleMania 40? Exploring the jaw dropping amount. Here we go. WrestleMania 40 ended in a disappointment for The Rock. Despite his scheme and promise to make Cody Rhodes bleed, the American Nightmare finished his story. That being said, the final boss uh, won't uh, be too disappointed with the weekend's outcome. After all, he's a member of TKO Board of Directors, and consider this, he is now dubbed the greatest WrestleMania of all time. It is. It was. Whether you like the card or not. You know, you wrestling fans out there who are whining and crying about, oh, I didn't like the card. I don't know what the hell you were watching. I, I have not watched WrestleMania in a long time, and I thought it was a fantastic card both days. And I'm going to talk to you why, and I'm going to tell you the prediction of the next WrestleMania Big match. I'm going to give it to you here, people. I'm going to tell you a, a year ahead of time what that match is going to be at WrestleMania. And let's see if I'm right in the year from now. After all, he's a member of TKO Board of Records and is considered now being dubbed the greatest WrestleMania. Uh, okay. Well, according to Brandon Thurston, The Rock received 96.5 thousand TKO shares last Sunday. The transfer of this these shares kicked in after the completion of certain services services described on Brahma Bulls end on the Brahma Bulls ending. One can assume that this has to do with participation in the key role at WrestleMania 40. And if that's the case, considering the value of the shares he received, Rock earned 9.4 million dollars for his performance at WrestleMania alone. That's just that. That's just what those shares, people. That's that. That's not. That's not everything. All the bumps, stops, and chokes and slams he took were surely worth it. However, it could be a while before we see the Rock back in the WWE ring. We will not see him back in the ring, but he's going to be in the building. He's going to be on that board. He's going to be making sure that things are run correctly, along with TKO, quite possibly Dana White, who will be in the background, being silent and quiet. And definitely Shapiro, the, bo the, the board members, Shapiro and Emmanuel, uh, they will be working with Rock on getting this company back to where it belongs. They have proven over one weekend that this company does not need Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon built it, but it's ready to go to a new level. At the end of the day, well, okay, let's see. At the end of the day, uh, WrestleMania 40 was huge success. Triple H error is off to a bang, and things are looking good for the WWE going forward. The WWE universe is excited about what is to come, and surely many are already counting down the days to WrestleMania 41 next year. And yes, I'm going to give you WrestleMania 41's main event next year, and you can tell me what you think, people. Okay, so let's go back to the other big news there. We had this Stephanie McMahon. 
Now, listen, I'm not going to praise Stephanie too much because I believe that she has a huge, uh, she's responsible uh, in a huge way in the death of Ashley Massaro. The cover up of Ashley Massaro's, uh, what happened to her in um, uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, so uh, when the woman hung herself, I blame that. And my brother hung himself, and I blame the WWE too for what they did to him as a child. So I'm not going to forgive them. This woman doesn't deserve that forgiveness. If she comes back, fine. That's all fine and good. But uh, let's remember what she did to Ashley Massaro when she is there. Okay, Stephanie McMahon surprised WrestleMania hints at WWE return. Well, if she's going to return, let her keep herself up in the office and off the TV screen. Uh, Stephanie McMahon made her final appearance on WWE programming since she resigned as CEO in 2023 with her father, Vince McMahon, fully out of the company in the wake of a bombshell sexual assault and sex, sex trafficking lawsuit. She uh, welcomed the crowd in a surprise ap appearance on the second night of WrestleMania 40. While McMahon, 47, also shown sitting next to her husband, Paul Levesque, Triple H, uh, during the uh, Hall of Fame ceremony on Friday, Sunday was her first appearance addressing a WWE crowd since her departure. I would like to play you that, but I'm not going to because WWE is very strict on what you play of theirs, and they will strike you. Uh, not even these companies will uh, like the post. They won't even put it in there because they probably don't have permission from the WWE to do it. You got to get it is out there in some of these sites, but that's only if they get the permission for WWE to play it. I was thinking about like e even playing the sound, but now you can't mess with the WWE. They've already struck me. Stephanie McMahon. Uh, uh, I got struck with something I used on Stephanie McMahon once before. So I'm going to stay away from that. Uh, because she does, or her people around her will strike you uh, for putting up stuff of hers you're not supposed to. This first marked WrestleMania where Vince did not hold a position of power as WWE executive or shareholder after resigning in January. Stephanie appeared to take what could be a uh, jab at her dad while putting over her husband as WWE. She sure did take a jab at him. That wasn't a jab. It was a knockout punch, people. They could say jab, but that was no jab. When I was eight years old, I sat out at the entrance of WrestleMania, and I have the honor and privilege of being part of every single WrestleMania since, Stephanie said. And every WrestleMania uh, is special for its own reason. But I think WrestleMania 40 might be one that I am most proud of because this is the first WrestleMania of the Paul Levesque era, Triple H. So she's saying, Daddy, F off. My man's taking over. Whether you like him or not, he's the boss now. And if he delivers the goods that has been delivered this weekend, if they clean up these animals in the background, and I'm going to talk about that too, uh, because of all the stuff done over the years, I've talked to so many people over the last couple of weeks. I know stuff going on behind the scenes that nobody else knows that I'm privy to. Uh, but unfortunately, because of, of the obligations, I can't speak about that yet. But they will be coming out, people, and you will be shocked about the stuff that went on at the WWE in the back rooms, to the front rooms, to the boardroom. You will be shocked. And tonight, okay, uh, and she said, and tonight, 64 com uh, countries and 50 states, all of us coming together, the different background, different beliefs to share the one thing that we love uh, to bring us together. And nobody understands that better than Triple H. You know, when Vince walked in there and, 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 and the daughter didn't want him to come back, Stephanie didn't want him to come back, and he still did. This young lady went home and plotted her revenge. I believe that this was all planned. I believe that Triple H, Stephanie, they were in on this with TKO. I knew. I, I believe that they knew that this they would get their father out of there because of these previous uh, payoffs. Uh, I could see uh, TKO working uh, with uh, with them along with The Rock to uh, get him out of there. And a week after they they signed a deal, Vince is gone. 
Do you guys think that that's like kind of suspect that these people are still around? That Triple H, nobody expected Triple H to survive. Nobody thought that Triple H was going to take over the company. And he has. Him and The Rock have taken over the company. The Rock is there. And The Rock kind of set precedent because he said, I'll use myself, my abilities to make you guys tons of money. But Triple H stays. And he's there. Stephanie's there. I'm hoping that she doesn't put her face on the screen again. But, you know, uh, like I said, I have no respect for, the, for, for, for this woman at all. I have no respect for this innocent woman in the middle are playing Miss Innocent in the middle here. And that's uh, Linda McMahon because she is responsible for many cover-ups with this company. So she doesn't deserve the respect that she looks like a sweet little woman here in the middle uh, of uh, these two icons. Well, one icon, uh, Flair, but uh, Charlotte Flair. Uh, and the other woman, whether you like her or not, she's a business icon. There's no doubt about that. She's a billionaire. She's a billionaire. They're all billionaires. Not, not, not Flair, but they're billionaires. Uh, and that's who they are. Okay, let's uh, let me take that down. Okay, so I'm going to uh, tell you, and this is the, basically, this was a, a huge success. Do you know that last night, the ratings, let's talk about the ratings. Okay. I'm going to get this up here. Give me one minute. Okay. So rating boost for WWE raw after WrestleMania four. The premier wrestling program, WWE's Monday Night Raw, has witnessed an exhilarating rise in its viewership for the episode that aired April 8th. Uh, viewers and wrestling pundits alike eagerly awaited these figures to indulge in spirited debates. Uh, reported by WrestleNomics, the April 8th, uh, the April 8th episode attracted 2.3 million viewers. This marks significant climb. Yes, it does. One from 1 1.7. Do you realize how significant of a climb that is? That's like a huge increase. These are some of the highest numbers ever. WWE is, people, it lives. It's kicking ass. And uh, Vince being out of there is the best thing that's happening to this company right now. Oh, and you know... <laughs> I bought some shares in TKO when this first went down. So I would tell anybody, I got to be careful what I say because only oh, inside trading, whatever. But common sense says, if a company like that is taken over by the Manuels, who put a president in the White House and run a company, and they're part of TKO, they got UFC. Now they're doing the behind this. They got the rock in their pocket. This, you better buy cheap while you can get in because you ain't getting in cheap on that stock. I've already seen the rise. This is like this is like jumping in on uh, uh, Bitcoin right before it was about to explode. It doesn't take a genius to see what's going to happen here. The bottom line with stock is how much money is that company making? This company has just bought in a wealth of cash over the weekend. Their, their numbers are going up. And with their numbers, with the rise of cash, is going to be the rise of that stock price. A lot of people are glad that Vince McMahon's gone. Okay, uh, so reporting uh, April 8th, uh, let's see. Um, oh, okay, this is the most important part. The post uh, WrestleMania 40 app episode did not disappoint in the key demographics as it achieved the 0.83 rating among young adults, 18 to 49. Isn't that amazing? They consider 49 a young adult uh, step and, and an 18 year old uh, stepping up from the prior 0.59. So you're talking about a uh, 0.25, a 20, a 20, a 0.24 rating. I, I mean, that that's huge, people. That is huge in the industry. 
The episode of the question was especially noticeable for being that first Raw airing after the grand event of WrestleMania 40. Highlights include The Rock and Cody Rhodes initiating the new era of the WWE action, along with Judge Cargill's uh, much in Jade's, I'm sorry, anticipated in ring debut on Raw. Jade Cargill, I'm sorry. Uh, anticipation is building amongst WWE enthusiasts as they speculate whether the following episode, Monday Night Raw, will surpass, surpa uh, surpass their this week's impressive viewership. You know, right there. I mean, people look at that. It's everything went right there. Everything went right. Uh, and this is where the, the dirt sheets, the people, decent wrestling shows on here should all be happy. Because it's going to benefit everybody. So you guys out there that are kissing Vince McMahon's ass. He's done. Stop the ass kissing. He's through. You're on you're 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 in the you're in the wrong cart now. Get in the right one. So whether you are uh, uh these guys that are apologists for Vince McMahon, if you cannot see the writing on the wall, you got you're an idiot. It doesn't take much to see the writing on the wall for this. You know, I get a little bit hyper uh, when I think about the idiocy of people still supporting these clowns that, that, that abused children, women, men. It's amazing. Get into the new era, people. And if you're smart, you can make money off of it. I'm talking about if you're an investor, you always want to invest with a strong company. So if you're a young investor and you're in your thirties and you got some cash to play around with, come on, it's looking you right in the face. <laughs> Boy, I sound like a spokesman for uh, WWE's, uh, 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 Wall Street business, you know, come on. <laughs> Never thought I'd be there, but, you know, it, it's, it, listen, people, I came on here originally to get back to talk about my brother and what they did to him and other children. Now, these people have come forward. We have more evidence about what happened in the company with women, with men, with divas, more divas coming forward, more ring boys coming forward. All sorts of stuff. That whole, they're going to all pay for what they've done. That whole uh, group of people. And there's still a few spots of cancer. I was talking to somebody about this. The cancer that should be gone is still there. A few spots of it. But I believe that they're going to take care of that cancer. And they're going to get that out of there. They got rid of the big cancer, Vince McMahon. And some of the cancers around him, like Paul Levesque, uh, not Paul Levesque. Paul Levesque may be a cancer for all we know, but it doesn't look like Paul's going anywhere. You know, sometimes to build a business, you got to keep something from the old regime. And Paul Levesque might be that person from the old regime that's not going anywhere because everybody thought he was gone. But that's the power of the rock. But I was talking to somebody today that made a uh, that said something to me uh, that's very powerful. Uh, where a person that is pretty famous told them that um, they don't want to come forward yet, but they said that there's still people within the company that are very bad people, and that they're not going to believe the company's straightened out until those people are gone. So we'll see. We'll see. But let's go. I'm going to see. If I'm going to. So I'm going to make my prediction for the next WrestleMania. Okay. You guys might laugh at me, but this is my prediction. And if you think about business, this makes perfect sense. It's obvious that they're going to stick with Cody Rhodes. They're not going to make him like a three month champion. They're putting a lot behind him. The Rock is putting a lot behind him. Who could he wrestle in, a, in re the next WrestleMania and start a feud going up to that WrestleMania that would make the social networks 
go nuts. Who on the social networks is hated? By many, like by some, very talented, whether you like them or not. So I'm going to tell you who I think. And uh, here he is. This is what I predict for the next WrestleMania. Laugh at me, people, but give me the opportunity to see if I'm right or wrong. I believe it's going to be this man right here, Logan Paul. It makes perfect sense. If you're running a business, you're going to say to yourself, who is a very powerful in, the, in, in marketing, and especially in social network marketing? Who has million? Who 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 has as many uh, followers as Logan Paul does in on YouTube? Or hardly nobody. You know, The Rock is very big on social uh, media, but so are the Paul brothers. Logan Paul especially. So let's say if I'm going to read some of this to say Logan Paul was disliked by a high percentage of WWE fans when he first started making appearances would be an understatement. The majority, especially the older demographic, wanted him to go away and never come back ahead of WrestleMania 38 match. But two years later, he's just successfully defending his United States championship at WrestleMania 40 to the very positive reviews from almost everyone. And I gave it a positive review because of that of when he came off the ropes and jumped and went so far up above the ropes and came down. It was an incredible jump. And then uh, someone told me that he's been training a lot with Paul Levesque. And, you know, Triple H, we're going to have to start calling Paul Levesque because Triple H is no longer Triple H. He's in a new world. So I'm going to start calling him by his regular name here. Okay. The major. Okay. Let's see. You could point. To his promo skill. Okay, I'm sorry. You point out his great in-ring work. You point out his prom promotional skills. Personally, however, I'd point to this video of him crying that's, go that's going on around the wor uh, works as the best explanation for why things have been turned around. One day after one of the greatest WrestleManias of all time, Logan Paul dropped a highlight video of himself watching the main event between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. It's immediate obvious how much he cares about wrestling. He's with the fans in the audience on every single story beat at the end. He tears up because he's so happy for Cody after winning. You could check the magic below. Wrestling fans have been going through a lot with celebrities. Some come in and really take it to the business, but so many others made it obvious they couldn't have cared less. Ronda Rousey came in. She did great, but she faded. Logan Paul's been here longer than Ronda just about. So he doesn't look like he's fading anywhere. And the worst part is somehow supposed to be grateful. It is getting between 20 minutes of the some B plus level uh, celebrity time was cooler than watching the actual people we wanted to see. I get it from the perspective of Vince McMahon and other current and former WWE executives. They wanted to grow the audience and have someone with the celebrity outside wrestling seem like great way to do, uh, do that. But, a lot of times it just came off cringy and embarrassment. So when Logan Paul first started coming around, it seemed like a la latest example of that. We were all determined to boo him and show him that we didn't have, have him around. We didn't want him around. But good Lord, we were wrong. Logan Paul is one of the most talented in-ring athletes in the WWE. Whether doing a frog splash onto a table or a buckshot lariat, or some crazy nonsense with the ricochet, he makes really difficult moves look like precise as Bret Hart's uh, backbreaker. He also really smooth and gifted on the microphone. He knows how to lean into the crowd's heat and make the most of every promo he gets. He's so naturally gifted. All of that is why he is around and excelling. But if you want to know why the WWF fans really care about him, it's because of that video, and that represents, he was in the audience crying after Cody won the title. And it was real tears. That's somebody that cares about wrestling, whether you like him or not. A lot of people don't like him. He's done a lot of bad things, a lot of bad jokes to people. He did mean things to people. He did some criminal stuff, too. That Very questionable stuff. And uh, But you know what? If you think about the criminals in the WWE, a lot of criminals are in the WWE. A lot.
You got a lot of people, uh, a lot of billionaires, the biggest criminals going are in the WWE. Okay, so he's watched enough wrestling to know when to go a thousand miles an hour, then to strut around. He's watched enough wrestling to know when to milk the hard cam and when to act like you're a fight, you're in a fight for your life. And he's watched enough wrestling to really appreciate how special WrestleMania 40 was and to properly celebrate with the rest of us. After The Rock first return, it seemed like Mania uh, event was going to be him versus Roman Reigns. Fans started revolting on so social media. They began posting, we want Cody, and talking about how he and Roman were the ideal event. For the most part, those associated with the WWE were quiet except Paul Levesque. He became one of the first in-ring performers to tweet, we want Cody. See, whether you like Triple H or not, he gets what people want. He, he's, you know, he's at the age where he, you know, he's like me. I'm an old fart. But uh, I understand the young version of uh, social media. Okay, and this reaction shows uh, how much it meant. And in this honor, I'll go celebrate. Uh, I'll go celebrate exactly. He'd want me to with a bottle of Prime. Prime's everywhere, people. What the hell is Prime? I'm not going to drink that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, oh Prime, if you ever want to sponsor me, I'll drink. I'll drink it on here. I'll tell everybody how much I love it too. Okay. Well, anyway, I don't mean that, but I'm just saying it. Uh, so what do you guys think? I think that things are looking up. Things are looking up. But let's not forget the past because people still got to pay for the past. And they're going to pay for the past. And that's one of the advantages I have over most. I know what's going on behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know. I know who's coming forward and who's not. So I'll tell you there, I can act this way because I know what's coming. A lot of these people don't know what's coming. They're stuck in the world of wrestling. A lot of crimes have been committed here. A lot of lives have been destroyed here. So let's hope they go in the right direction and they cut all the cancer out. And unfortunately, we might have to understand that sometimes something bad stays to make something even better. And with that, people, I'd like to say thank you. Enjoy the show. I'll be doing a live Friday night. So please be that live. We're going to have a very interesting show. And for the people that have supported this show, thank you so much. That's why this show is rocking and kicking ass. 30,000 views in the last three days. And we're only going to get better. We have some polls going on right now. We're talking about the wrestling territories. I'm doing polls and we're having like a contest. Uh, we're going to, I'm doing about 32 of the old territories. And I'm putting them in segments of four and having people vote. And right now we're in the quarterfinals, then we're going to go to the semifinals, then the finals uh, of what territory. In the first two rounds, we had Jim Crockett's promotion, one to south. And now uh, for Texas area, in that area, everybody knows who was going to win there. And that was uh, uh, Dying Claw Boys uh, and uh, Fritz. They all won. They won there. It looks like today I put that vote up. Go over there and vote. And uh, next week we're gonna have an, uh, in a couple of days we're gonna have we're gonna do the foreign promotions. We're gonna put up the four top foreign promotions, and you can vote there. But every way, everybody, thank you so much. I appreciate everything. Please, please make sure you sub if you have not. Everybody, take care.